Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is worldwide about one sort of all marriages occur between people who were born fewer than 10 miles apart. This is an example of and you have to choose the correct answer. So let's go over each answer. Natural selection and this picture would demonstrate uh, how natural selection works. For example, uh, we see that here among giraffes a uh, variation of sizes, variation of the length of the neck and uh, some of the animals cannot reach uh, leaves of the tree. And due to natural selection some would die and some would uh, live and would be able to pass the traits to the progeny. So this is uh, natural selection and artificial selection would be when humans would select animals or plants for some valuable traits. So let's go over the next term, genetic drift and actually genetic drift uh, we can put aside from all the rest uh, terms because uh, natural selection, non-random mating and migration would be a cause of genetic drift. And genetic drift basically is change in allelic frequencies in the gene pool due to these factors. So uh, let's um, talk about migration and migration in population genetics. Imagine that here we have two populations of bugs. So here white bugs and here we have blue bugs. And let's say that um, blue color is due to dominant allele, say dominant allele A. So we would have frequency of the dominant allele A here as uh, 100%. Here, let's say, in this population, is white color is due to recessive trait. So once again, in this population, we also have 100% of the recessive alleles. And now imagine that some of these bugs would migrate here and now we would have a mixture of bugs of two traits. So for uh, genetists uh, that means that here we also would have uh, a mixture of uh, different alleles and now say we would have 80% um, of the recessive allele A and 20% of uh, dominant allele A here. So this is due to migration. So migration and we also call such situation here genetic drift due to migration. So uh, we only have one answer left C non-random mating uh, let's now over exaggerate this problem and say that uh, people would be allowed to mate with uh, other people who lives within say uh, 100 meters uh, from them. So this is uh, clearly would be non-random mating. Or if for example we would take uh, marriages in many uh, medieval uh, royal families of the Europe, we would see that many uh, marriages are consanguineous between close relatives, say between um, first cousins or second cousins. So it is clearly non-random mating. And uh, even if people would marry within, say, a circle of 10 miles, this also still would be non random mating. So our answer would be answer C and also such non random 
mating, just like any non-random mating, would lead to genetic drift and inbreeding. To a certain extent, we can say that every nation is inbred. For example, we can easily say that uh, this person, say Russian or Greek or Chinese or Indian, and even within one nation, we can say, for example, that this Indian from the north or from the south. Because in these uh, populations, we have different frequencies of alleles. That allows us to group people uh, depending on the certain phenotypic traits. For example, if uh, South Indians would actively marry uh, North Indians, then uh, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between South and North because all people phenotypically would be uniform. But because people tend to marry in the area where they live, so South Indians would marry South Indians and North Indians would marry North Indians, so then we would be able to tell the difference between these two groups. And of course there is influence of the caste system that doesn't allow people from one caste to marry people from the different caste. So this also would be example of non-random mating. Those within one caste there can be millions of people and within other castes there also can be millions of people but still this is going to be non-random mating. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.